Hello everybody and welcome back to York River Cannabis and today's video I'm going to be using the trim bag and doing a full review of how I think the trim bag performs but first if you wouldn't mind hit that subscribe button if you're new here to the channel and if you've already subscribed thank you very much and please give this video a thumbs up to show your support I would greatly appreciate it. So today guys I've got an order I've got to fulfill and I've got to trim a bunch of biox flowers so why not make a full review video for the trim bag I've been meaning to get to it and of course today I picked strategically because as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day behind me but there's one key fact it is super dry and it is cold and I find that the trim bag uh, works the best when it's super dry and super cold. Uh, it just seems to do really, really well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using the trim bag to trim a whole bunch of Biox flour. I've got to make a bunch of orders up for the Biox. So thank you for the support, guys. I appreciate it. Keep those orders coming. And remember, you can always email me at York River Cannabis, and I do everything through PayPal. So I do appreciate it, guys. I really do appreciate the support that everybody's been giving me lately. Uh, so let's get right into today's video. What you should expect for today is I'm just going to kind of run through how to use the trim bag and the results that the trim bag gives you. And that's it. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So this is kind of the setup I use for the trim bag. It's pretty simple. Uh, and you can get these tubs anywhere and you can use any kind of tub you want. This is just what I have on the farm here. So what you see is I have an empty tub here. This is going to be for the shake or trim that the trim bag produces. And of course I have this one with the bag full of buds. What we're going to do is we're just going to add the buds right to the trim bag and get to work. So you just unzip the top here. Relatively simple guys. It's, it's really easy uh, to get your, get your buds trimmed. This is... Uh, this has been quite a time saver here on the farm and I can't appreciate enough uh, the amount of time that this trim bag has saved me. So I want to give a big shout out to Trim Bag. Uh, they have helped me uh, quite a bit this year to just save on time and get a great quality trim product out. So as you can see, we're just grabbing some uh, buds. And so here's something cool. We've got some colas in here. Uh, all the colas are always marked, so we're just going to put these in. Now again guys, these buds are super dry today. You know, they always fluctuate with the temperature. Uh, you know, you can control it with the humidity, but the great thing is uh, the humidity is already controlled today. So we don't have anything to worry about there. It's going to be dry no matter where we are today. So we'll stuff a little bit more in here. I've got quite a few orders. I've got to fulfill four Biox today. So I like to, uh, to trim as much as I can. And I'm not even filling this thing up today, but I want to do a thorough review for you guys. So that's about a half of this bag. And what I'll do is I'll tie this bag up and I'm gonna go put this away, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've put all the other buds away. And now we have a full, full-ish, about a half full bag. I'll take you up to the camera here and show you what's inside the bag. So it's about half full, guys. Again, you can stuff this thing. I just don't need to right now for the order. I just trim what I need to trim. So you're going to close it up, make sure your magnets are all squared up. You're going to get to your handles. And you're just going to do this for 60 to 90 seconds. Okay guys, so we're done trimming. Uh, pretty self-explanatory how that went. Just back and forth, shake it around. Nothing crazy. So now what I do is I kind of do this with the bag, okay? And the reason why I do this is to get all the shake down to the bottom. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up. See how it's all filled up? 
And so I'll start emptying the shake into my tub here. Now I keep all this shake because you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's good stuff. So make sure you don't just throw that away. All right, so now let's take a look at our finished product. Now, as you can see, guys, just absolutely quality buds. I'll bring, one, bring a couple up to the camera. Some nice big ones. Let me get some big buds here for you to, to kind of really show you what it looks like. <laughs> so here you have it guys here is the bud nice nice and trimmed nothing wrong with it a couple of small stems here and there but guys this is a perfect quality bud you can see that it breaks some buds off that's okay they're going to be waiting at the bottom for you so it works out really really well so i'm going to get these all put into the barrel here so you can see the whole lot and uh yeah, so you can make your own determination of what you think of the trim bag. So one of the things I didn't point out earlier and one of the systematic approaches uh, that I use with the trim bag is the number one reason why I always empty the trim first is because when I dump out the buds, I want to make sure that I'm not going to be getting a whole bunch of trim. And when I say that, if you look down here at the bottom of this, you will see that there are plenty of buds that have fallen off uh, the branches that would otherwise not make it or I would get lost in this pile of trim. So I always make sure that the trim is emptied from the bottom of the bag first. That's key with using this trim bag. Uh, but as you can see guys, I mean, look, look at the trim job on these. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, they're, they're good. Yeah, of course, there's a stem here or stem there and of course I could throw them back into the bag or what I could do is take them off the branch then throw them back into the bag um, but I always hand go through all my buds I like to go through that process so it doesn't bother me that much but you can you can throw them in there for a lot longer I do it for about 60 seconds and I really like the end product I, I don't have a problem with uh, with any of the foliage that might be left on here. I mean, look at this. This is just one little thing, and then it's pretty good. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's well worth the money, guys. Um, you know, and I really think that when it, when it comes down to what your time is worth, the trim bag for its price point is, is a pretty good option. Um, and as you can see, and I'll, I'll kind of zoom in on it down here so you all can see it or at least maybe get it into some sunlight here. Uh, there's your trim. Nice pile of trim, guys. Nice pile of trim. So, you know, you have a lot to work with. You can make pre-rolls with that trim. You can add it to your CBD oil. You can do whatever you want with it. So, I mean, it gives you everything you need. And that's one thing I do like about this. Well, guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this trim bag video, guys. It is definitely worth the time. I've had nothing but good things to say about this trim bag. I, you know, I've heard the argument that, you know, trichomes get knocked off and, you know, you could, you know, lose some in the, the mesh of the product. But look, guys, I'm not trying to get every ounce of these buds. You're going to lose some in the process. You're going to lose some if you're manually trimming. So I think that argument is valid, but in the same sense, you have to know, like, okay yeah you're just gonna lose some in the process that's just part of it hand trimming same thing i mean every time you move a bud trichomes are gonna fall off when they're dry i mean that's just the way it is uh so you know take that for what it's worth i guess that's the only criticism i could give this trim bag but guys i love it i love it it's a time saver i mean i do to order trimming. I don't have to worry about having stuff done in uh, pre-order. I get a big order, I walk out here, I grab the bag, I put it in the trim bag, I trim it up and I'm good. I package it up and it's off. And so it's not like uh, I have to put a lot of work into it. And with the environment that the hemp industry is in, where you don't know when your next order is gonna come, you don't know how big it's gonna be, 
it's a time saver, but it's also a money saver, guys, because why would I be trimming product that I can't sell? So I just trim it as needed, and I think that's huge. And I think the trim bag provides me that um, sense of security that I know that, hey, if a big order comes in, I can get it done in a day. It's not going to be difficult. So... That's all I have to say about the trim bag right now, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, big shout out and big thank you to trim bag. And look for a video on the swag bagger. When I get a chance, I will do a video on the swag bagger, but I really wanted to focus on the trim bag. I've been wanting to get a video out. I got an order, so I figured why not make a video about this? And of course, it's our favorite flower, Biox flower, our most popular seller. So why not add that to the video, guys? And if you are interested in anything, don't forget to drop me an email at York River cannabis at gmail.com you know go ahead and find us uh on our facebook page and our instagram and i'll leave those links in the description below check out our website at www.weebly.yorkriver.com and uh yeah until next time guys take care and i will see you in another video